You won't find any flat screen TVs or fancy cars at Ed Canan's home in Syracuse, but you will find hundreds of books and old pictures. Here, here's a sort of an interesting one. This was taken at the Pentagon in 97. In those days, you can come onto the Pentagon parade ground, and we had a demonstration there. Friday at Hancock Field wasn't the first time canan has been arrested, or the second. Three times? Nope. Wrong again. I've probably been arrested about 40 times altogether. Last month, Canan was arrested twice. First at the Veterans for Peace March on Washington, and then again at a rally for Bradley Manning at Quantico. He's even spent a year in federal prison. I had to ask him, is getting arrested that often really worth it? So we try to get publicity, um, and one way we do that is by being arrested, going to court, and then going to prison. Canan will appear in court next month because of last Friday's protests, but don't expect him to ease up on the drones issue just yet. I mean, most of the victims of the drones are civilians. So, in a very real sense, the drone technology is terrorist technology because it's killing civilians for political purposes. Next Tuesday around rush hour, protesters will be holding up anti-drone signs on the side of the road near Hancock Airport. Canan isn't sure how many people are going to show up, but he knows one thing for sure. He'll be there, white beard and all. Jesse Pantusco, NCC News.